Scovy in conversation with Jack Kelly and Ken Reid on public speaking with a vision impairment. Do you find that because you have a visual impairment, people are less likely to book you to do public speaking, to deliver speeches, because they might assume that you don't want to or that you, you're not comfortable doing it? I feel definitely, it, it, I'm not to be rude to Ken, no offence, but I'm younger than Ken. So I'm, <laughs> I'm at an earlier stage in my, 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 my progression of RP. Um, I definitely notice that fewer things come my way the more that vis- the more obviously disabled I become to other people. Um, I now have a guide dog. I've needed to use a cane for the past ten years. Um, I frequently fall over chairs in rooms, and and for me that's just normal. For other folk, that's kind of like, oh my god, she's fallen over a stool, and I'm just like, folks, calm down. This is like my daily life. It's fine. Um, and I definitely notice that I get fewer requests to do stuff, um, but I also notice. On the flip side, I guess that I get better feedback when I do stuff and then folks see that my visual impairment isn't actually really a massive impediment to me speaking mm. to a room or doing a training session. I might need to sometimes bring a personal assistant if I'm doing training um, to somebody flip the flip chart or whatever. Um, but I get better feedback. In a way, that's a bit annoying because I'd rather get the honest feedback not the well done for a disabled person <laughs> really well. but on the other on the other flip side of that I guess it's nice to show that just because you've got a visual impairment mm. doesn't mean you can't stand up and talk nonsense for half an hour mm.